Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to talk about images and how to store images in an access database. If you're working on the Northwind database, which was created back in the 1990s, before access supported .jpg images, then you see that it did support some images, but they're the old DMP map file types that become very grainy when they're displayed on a form or a report. And let's look at how those were stored directly in the table. This is how we don't want to store them anymore as bitmap images in this photo field. And if we go to design view, we can look at the photo field and see that it's an OLE object linking and embedding object data type, which is really an old data type that we don't want to use anymore. I'm going to insert a new row here and just call it photo 2 and use the attachment data type and that will help us store JPG images of employees. I believe that the JPG file type was supported by Access as of Access 2007. I'm going to modify that description so we know that that's a BMP picture of the employee. Okay, so let's save that and go to datasheet view. And of course, those images cannot be displayed in this little datasheet, but we can see the attachment field that we've added the photo to field. And if we double click the little paper clip, we can go ahead and start adding some JPGs to these records. So to add an attachment to a record, we simply double click the paper clip, click add, and then go and browse through your computer where you have that image stored. And these attachments could actually be Word documents, Excel files, JPG files, as I'm adding here, or any type of file attachment, just like you're attaching a file to an email that you want. Once you have a JPG file attached to a record, I want to show you how that looks in a form. We're going to open up our employees form, and here's our first record for Nancy. Here's that BMP picture of her. Let's go into design view and make a little room here for our second image. So if I open up the add existing fields pane, I see that new photo two field and it's got three pieces of data in it. We're going to want to pull out the entire field into the form and then just allow the control that supports a JPG to be automatically created. I don't need that photo two label, so I'm gonna delete that. If I click on the edge of that photo and go to the property sheet, then I can see that the selection type is an attachment. So this is an attachment control. It's going to attempt to display whatever type of file is in that attachment. And I just want to show you that it displays JPGs beautifully. So here we can see the images, the JPGs coming through that control really well. Here's another image. That's a great way to store images or any attached file to an access database. Use the attachment data type. Thank you.